So like if you're, you're doing this cool experiment in your laboratory, you might have scientists from around the world who are all logged in and following what you're doing and asking questions, and then they'll maybe reproduce it or whatnot. The science community worldwide does this all the time. They don't all end up at the same laboratory. Sometimes they'll be at different laboratories and talking and going, hey, I tried this, have you tried that? You know, do it on this megahertz and do it with this chemical and whatnot. So what we're doing today with the remote students, this is normal science. So this is what happens in a community that cares about each other because they may see something that you don't. We need all of this together. So it's really important to include the remote scientists at their homes right now to be able to help us out with this today. Okay? All right. We have groups of two or three.